Hey guys, Danielle here. So we are actually heading out hiking in the morning and I'm getting ready to put together um, our lunches and uh, my backpack and just get everything together for our hike in the morning. But before I do that, I thought that I would come and talk to you guys about some of the stuff that we use on our hikes because right now our goal is to hike Oklahoma. And so we have first and foremost our Oklahoma State Parks and Outdoor Recreation Guide that we use. And no matter what state you're in, if you go to usually your travel and tourism uh, center, they'll have one of these books. And they have literally all the state parks um, in them. Where we're heading out tomorrow is a place called Alabaster Caverns. And we're going to go and look at, um, at the different caves. So we haven't been to caves uh, in a while. And so the different caves are going to have like bats and things like that. So that should be really, really cool. Um, the other thing that's really important for us, you know, besides having our guide so that we'll kind of know where we're going and, and um, kind of know what to expect and how to dress and things like that, the next thing we're going to have are our hiking shoes. We want to actually have actual hiking shoes. So these are my hiking shoes right here. And then this is my son's hiking shoe, as you can see right here. Um, the reason we use actual hiking shoes instead of, say, like tennis shoes like this is because if you look at, you know, the, the sole of the shoe, these shoes have, are made for hiking trails and things like that. So they have, um, they're kind of rough on the bottom to give you traction on like slippery rocks and, and everything. And if you look at these kind of shoes, these are made for running. And so they're they're smooth on the um, on the sole. So I'll just show you like this. If you look, you may, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can kind of tell the difference in the sole of the shoes from this is the hiking shoe and this is the running shoe. Um, so we have our, our hiking shoes. And then the next thing we have is our first aid kit. Very, very important if you're going to go out on a hike to have a first aid kit. This first aid kit comes with, you know, like sting relief type uh, antiseptic and pain reliever, different antiseptic wipes. It also comes with uh, waterproof matches, antibiotic um, cream or ointment. It comes with safety pins and um, band-aids, just anything that we could need if, you know, we get injured. And I just get a, I have a really little one, so it can go right in my backpack. And then we have our flashlight, and I just use a, a small one. We're usually not out at night, because my son is only five, I don't like to do anything in the night, at night time. But we are going to go into caves and things like that, so it'll be good for us to have our flashlight. Um, the next thing we have, of course, you can't forget, you know, your sunscreen. We have our sunscreen. You'll want to have sunscreen as well as a bug repellent because you're going to be outside, so you don't want to get bitten up or burnt. So then we also have, I just recently got this one. But you'll just get like a pocket knife just just in case. You never know when you might need it. And as a single mom who goes hiking, it's good to have just a small pocket knife. Uh, a pocket knife, a hunting knife, any of those things would, would do. And then we use this right here. This is our lunch box. This is a small one because this is the one that's going to go in uh, my backpack. Normally, we have our big cooler, which I have right now in our kitchen because I'm packing it, and that's going to have all the ice and everything in it. But once we actually start on our hike, the sandwiches and stuff are going to go into this, and then I'm going to put that in the um, backpack that we use. Obviously, the next thing is the backpack. The backpack is really important because, see, it has a lot of different compartments. So I use this backpack because of all the different compartments and I can put, you know, our um, first aid kit here and our flashlight here. It just, it 
it gives me different areas to put things so that I can find them a lot easier. And of course, you can't forget your camera. This is the camera I use. It's a Nikon. And I've had it for years. So it's got a nice big screen on it. And then, of course, um, I have my video camera, but um, I can't show it to you because I'm obviously taping on it. And, of course, my phone because I use it as a camera as well. And then the next thing you're going to want is um, a good pair of hiking pants. I know that some people probably go hiking in, like, sweats and things like that, but I actually invest in actual hiking pants. Um, these are mine, and they've got, like, the cargo pockets and, like, the loop for, um, say, a flashlight or a knife. And then the great thing about these, these are actual hiking pants are made to dry quickly, um, just if you end up in water. And so if you look at the pockets here, I don't know if you can see this, but they have little holes in it. So that if they get wet, they'll just dry, they'll dry out. And it's made, the fabric is, is a lot different than just sweatpants or regular pants. And it's made to, um, to kind of breathe and to dry out a lot faster in case they get wet. Now these kind of hiking pants are kind of pricey, this particular brand. But you can get any kind. Like the ones that I got, I just bought some new hiking pants today. And these are just really, really lightweight um, pants. But they're the same kind of breathable uh, material. These are Magellan. Yeah, these are Magellan uh, pants. And then these other ones, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but I think it's Copen is the um, brand on these. These cost me a little bit more. And I really like these. These are pretty heavy duty. And then I, for my son, I have been searching and searching for hiking pants made for a five-year-old. But they don't seem to make them. Uh, so what I use instead are just um, cargo shorts, just like this. I use these cargo shorts for his, um, they're like Wrangler cargo shorts. But I use these. Um, for our hiking because these will work really well too. Sometimes I'm kind of leery about putting him in his shorts because, you know, just in case something's going like, to scratch him or bites him or something, I, I like his legs to be protected. But once you're out there and you're going up rocks and down in caves and through trails and things like that, you start getting really, really hot. So it's best to obviously wear shorts or pants made for hiking um, because you want to be able to um, cool down and breathe. You want some breathable fabrics. Um, other than that, I mean, that's really basically all that you need to go hiking. Of course, the drive um, takes a while for us personally. It's like tomorrow's hike is going to take probably about three hours uh, to just get there. And usually that's the hardest part for my son is that riding in the car for three hours. You know, once we're out there and, you know, we're going through the trails and we're seeing everything, he's great. So, you know, you might also want to take um, a tablet or a cell phone or something that your kids can play on or watch on the drive out to wherever you're going. I know that when we lived in Seattle, we actually lived right on, like off of a trail, and so we could go hiking every single day. Now we kind of have to, we have to limit it to um, just on the weekends because it takes us so long to get to where we're going. But um, yeah, so that's basically all that we use. Um, you know, so just a recap is we always have our state parks, um, an outdoor guide, you know, a lunch box, bug repellent, um, sunscreen, a pocket knife, a first aid kit, hiking shoes, hiking pants, a um, flashlight, a nice sturdy um, backpack with lots of compartments, and of course you have to have a camera so that you can take pictures of everything that you see. All right, well, if any of you guys have any questions about hiking or hiking with kids, uh, just let me know. 
Hey guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to let you guys know that if you look below in the description box, that first link there will take you to uh, my website, which will give you uh, basically a description, a full-on description of all the products that I just showed you. And it'll give you a, a way to contact me as well with my email address and everything. So just check the uh, check in the description box below and you know for more information on like hiking and hiking with kids and everything. And also don't forget to subscribe. Bye.